another conversation for you guys um i was recently speaking to one of my friends and she had you know brought to my attention like how your previous relationship can scar your future relationship so if you've been in a bad relationship not even a bad relationship you you've been in a relationship that took a lot out of you and you wasn't the person that you was after you got out the relationship. So, when you're entertaining the idea of being with someone else, I hope after you've, you know, went through that relationship, you took some time for yourself. Because you should always take time for yourself when you come out of a relationship. You shouldn't always just jump into a relationship. You should take time for yourself. Rebuild yourself. And, you know, rebuild yourself. Maintain yourself you know, reflect and better yourself in the space of time that you're, that you decide to, you know, say that, all right, you know what, I'm ready to start dealing with people. When you start dealing with the next person now, do not blame the new person for what the old person did. These are two separate people. These are two separate individuals. These are two separate, you know, mind thinking people. So do not put them through the ringer or make them pay for what the last person did. It's not their issue. So I understand some people come into relationships with baggage, but whatever baggage that you carry, that's technically still carrying a bag with body parts of the previous people that you bring. So you always want to come into a fresh relationship, whether it be a friendship relationship, companionship, life partnership, fiance, marriage, whatever. Do not go into a fresh relationship with old baggage. That is not their problem. They are not that person. Let this person prove to, to you that they are different. Now, you do get some cases where you dealing with somebody and you might have similarities. Okay, this person deals with this this certain kind of way, as did the last person did the same thing, and they deal with that the certain the same kind of way. Doesn't mean that they're the same person. They just have similarities. Now, when you have cases like that, it's better to discuss what you like, what you don't like, what you're not accepting, what you are accepting, what you're afraid of, what you're not afraid of. You need to discuss these things with the person that you decide to be with or the person that you decide to build a relationship with. That eliminates a lot of problems. People jump into these relationships expecting this person to just be all A1 throughout the whole thing. No relationship is perfect. No relationship is solid to the point where you're not going to have any issues. You're always going to bump into issues. But in those issues... Those are the times where you need to communicate what you each other didn't like, what you each other plan on doing to uh, fix the problem, what you two are going to do to eradicate the problem, what you guys are going to do to move forward in those times when you do have the same issues or if you don't have an issue but a, a, a issue is arising, how you guys are going to handle it. Do not make the person that you're with now pay for what the person that you did that that you were with before pay for their issues. Do not do that. Because that's technically still allowing the person that you was with to have this anchor over you. And you're not you're no longer with that person and it's not fair. So in essence you're giving yourself you're giving this person about ten percent of yourself that that could have been authentically a hundred percent, but because you're not giving them your all, you're still anchored by the person that you was with before. So just don't do it. Don't make the person pay for who you was with. Don't don't do that. Just relax, release, let it go. This is why when you get out of a relationship, you should always reflect on yourself, 
reflect on getting better, change the things that needed to be changed, and focus on what you want to focus on, and get your mind right for the next person that comes along. And as far as blaming or, you know, feeling a certain kind of way of whatever your ex did, you've known, you know, you have gotten over whatever your previous partner has done when you and your ex can have a cordial conversation and there's no argument. If you and the person that you was with previously, regardless of whatever they may have done, if you cannot have a simple conversation with them, then that means you're not over the situation. You have to be over a situation in order to know that you have grown and you have matured. When the person that has hurt you the most and you can have a civil conversation without no issues, you know you're over that person. So, that is that. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Sweet, 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 sweet.